way to filling the final 32. Ivy Straven in our second semifinal. He's won this twice. These two guys hoping to win their first club championship. So happy to have you along with us here for semifinal number one. Yeah, here we go. Six Sense going to get the ball first in this West Coast offensive playbook. You're going to see a lot of this gun bunch. I think you'll see a lot of that far tight slots formation as well. Yeah, this is a guy that's done some good stuff in his career. Speaking of playbooks, Phenom running West Coast. Yep, in that West Coast, like I said, we're going to see some gun bunch. This far tight slots. Patriots defense, which you don't see a lot of. And six cents. Hey, West Coast, he's running that Dolphins defense, though. Yeah, the Dolphins defense we see a lot. You're going to see some 1-4-6, some over G, some 3-4. Big shout out to all the Vikings fans watching at home. They've waited a long time. They've watched 31 other teams name their club champion. It's finally Minnesota's time. First down and 10. It's Tyreek Hill up the middle, picking up eight. Yeah, he goes to that far tight slots, halfback dive, or fullback dive, excuse me, with Tyreek Hill there. One of the best plays in Madden 20, and Tyreek Hill is just so dominant in this game. Yeah, stingy on spots. They're only going to give him six on that play. Set up a second and four, six cents. Qualified for the Madden Bowl last year through the last chance qualifier. And he made good work of it. Proved that he deserved a spot. Yeah, he did. Ninth place. Nothing to be ashamed of. Great performance there. And he's looking to do it again here. This is a guy that spent most of his cap on offense. So we're seeing it here. He doesn't have the best players on defense. Luck outside of the pocket. There's just nobody there. So why not? You got a skate, Martis. Might as well use it. Picks up six in the first down. Yeah, smart decision there. Nothing open. Take, go to the outside with Andrew Luck. Nice little pickup. Phenom, of course, having his best run ever. And he looks incredibly loose coming into this. This first drive, is he, if he's able to get a stop, he might be as confident as any player we've seen so far. Yeah, you gotta, he's a confident kid, but you got to think he's got some nerves. I mean, this is his first Final Four in the club series, his first club series overall. So, yeah, I think the nerves will set, uh, uh, be there a little bit, but I think he'll settle in. First down to 10 for six cents. Tyreek Hill at the top of the eye, two tight ends, one wide receiver out of the eye formation. It's Hill. On, Not a whole lot of room. Maybe picking up one. Mirror match, is that something you'd be excited because you know it so well, or is that something that you dread because the other person also knows it so well? No, I think it's a benefit knowing exactly what your opponent's going to do. I mean, if you're a defensive player, like which I consider myself, then it definitely helps. Second and nine. Back into the gun bunch. Luck dropping back, rolling out, facing pressure. Nowhere to go. Oh, and, oh wait. Spoke too soon. Marvin Harrison, Juke, he's down the field inside the 30. Boy, it looked like nothing was open at the last second Marvin Harrison gets open. Yeah, what patience right there. Waited to the last possible second. Threw it to that Marvin Harrison. Nice little Juke. Huge gain right there. Six cents. Looks phenomenal on his first drive. Oh, any Colts fans in the chat are going, you never count out Marvin Harrison. He can get open so easily. As six cents driven all the way inside the 30 to the 29 yard line. See what he decides to do on first down. Coming into that far formation. Tyreek Hill at fullback and Tyreek Hill is into the end zone. 29 yards out. Too easy. Six cents. Great first drive. Yeah, huge one right there. You see him talking a little bit. He's hyped up, man. But he might have missed this extra point. Doink. Wow, oh, Cody Park, this. he's watching it. Oh, I'm going, I've been there, man. <laughs> oh, man. How does that happen? How do you yeah, do something you gotta, as simple as an extra point? The thing is, I think he got a little too hyped up. He got too excited about that touchdown run, and you gotta, you got to compose yourself in these situations. You can't make a costly mistake like that. That's huge. Uh, the Vikings fans at home are uh, having a good chuckle at the expense of the, of the former Bears kicker, Cody Park. But look at this one more time. Tyreek Hill just gets to the second level, and he's gone. Doesn't even get touched. Easy money right there for Let's six go, cents. Man. Come on. Let's go. As you can see, excited about it, but then that extra point. Come on. And if you're a phenom, you know, you gave that up, but then you if you, can, you can take the lead now if you score quickly. So, you know, good possession, though, by six cents. He moved down the field relatively easy. Now we saw how this offense worked for six cents. Now we get to see how phenom is able to run this West Coast offense. Comes out I formation. Aikens in motion from right to left. Dante Hall at the top of the eye. And... Yeah, and get a penalty here. They're going to bag him up five. A false start. Not the way you want to start your drive. Yeah, a little fake hike. I'm not sure if he meant to do that. It might have been an accident, but the game makes you uh, accept it no matter what. So, And Phenom told me last night he's confident he will win if he plays good. He said he, the thing is he doesn't want the bright lights to get to him. He did tell me that. You know, he's a little nervous in his first Final Four, but definitely a confident kid. First and 15. Stretch run for Hall. Cuts it back inside. Oh, Maybe gets three, not a whole lot of room to work. Yeah, he had a decent hole there, but it kind of got clogged up at the last second. 
Um, good run defense right there, and he's going to go back to this gun bunch now. So like we said, we're going to see a mirror match. we got that I-form wing, I-form tight, far tight slots, and now some gun bunch. Both guys run the same stuff. Phenom training full time as a UFC fighter, looking to be a Madden Club champion with two wins here in the Minnesota Vikings Club Championship. Look, left side, wheel route, that's Tyreek Hill. He had a whole lot of room out there and cuts it back to a third and short. Yeah, it goes to verticals, a little quick read to that wheel route, out in space to Tyreek Hill. Nice play right there. Third and one coming up, and if you're Sixth Sense, if you can hold him here, it'd be huge. Looks like he's gonna come out in that fullback dive. See if he can pick it up. This, of course, the play that Sixth Sense was able to get a touchdown on with a, not a whole lot of resistance from Phenom's defense. What does Phenom have running this? Hill at fullback in that far tight slots. The middle, all sorts uh, are clogged up, but look at Hill fight through the tackle from Star Latule. Yeah, I've seen Tyreek Hill fall forward a lot, and he's been doing that a lot for a guy that's, you know, not the biggest of halfbacks back there, but nice pickup right there. Big first down. That first down. Maybe an opportunity to settle down a little bit, especially if taking that first, that, that false start on first down. Able to pick up 15, get a new set of downs. Luck, dropping back. He's just gonna take off right away. The pressure came immediately and Andrew Luck took off and picked five. Yeah, it goes to that popular concept we've seen a lot of wide receiver post, you motion over the slot receiver on a slant, and it really stretches the user because you have that motion slant, then you have the crosser out from the bunch side, and then you have a backside deep post. Second and five. Flipping the bunch. What does flipping the bunch do? It just me well, it can mess up your defense's alignment. Uh, if they're in a nickel, that makes them have to flip with the, with with you. Um, and then you can get different route combos, like getting the halfback wheel. You get a flat to the solo side. So different things you can do. Madden fans at home looking to become a pro. Deep shot down the field. Marvin Harrison drop it in the bucket, out of bounds at the 20-yard line. Andrew Luck with an absolute dime. Yeah, great player right there. Phenom's going to this verticals play, which we haven't seen too, too much of in this tournament so far. Always one of the best plays every year, verticals, and he goes up top to the crossing route with Marvin Harrison. Troy P makes the stop, but Phenom is in business inside the red zone. Back into that eye formation. Dante Hall at the top of the eye. Nearing the one minute mark in the first quarter. Stretch run, good blocking on the outside. You can't give the fastest man alive that much room. Dante Hall to the house. Yeah, great drive by Phenom as he's hyped up about it. Dante Hall untouched to the end zone. Huge, huge touchdown. Let's see if he gets his extra point and takes the lead. Ball is down, the kick is up right now. Main Street seven to six. Phenom taking advantage. Yeah, we got a good battle, man. Two young, competitive, talented guys. I think this is going to go down to the wire. Now you put a little added pressure on six cents, that missed extra point. Now he's got to think, when do I start chasing? When do I start going for two? Look at this one more time. This the big play that set it up. Marvin Harrison wide open. Yeah, wide open. No zones back there at all. Easy money, easy pickings for Phenom. And once you get inside the red zone, you can make it Dante Hall time. As first down and 10, it's Tyreek Hill, the Hill and Hall oh, show for both these no, guys. Man. Not a whole lot of room, maybe gets one. Yeah, two of the best players in Madden 20, Dante Hall and Tyreek Hill, man. Give them the ball and get them in space. Now a second and nine. Back into the gun punch. Luck dropping back. Under pressure, he's got a man down the field. That's Torrey Holt with the catch of the 42-yard line. Escapes the pressure and delivers a dot. Beautiful play right there, that wide receiver post play again, but this time he streaked the solo receiver to clear out all the zones. The crossing route was wide open on the sidelines. So we go from the air attack hey, hey, hey. We got three, we got back three. to the ground. Christian McCaffrey at the top of the eye. He's going to let this clock run out at the end of one. Both players score a touchdown, but Phenom with the lead, 7-6. to six. Yeah, and so far, I mean, that, that extra point could be costly for six center there. That's a mistake you cannot make in that situation. And it looks like we're going to get an admin over here. As uh, the admin is called over, looking at the controllers, it's so important in these uh, high money games where you have a chance with two wins to fight for $100,000 that everything is as you want it on the controller, on the settings, and you feel comfortable playing the game. Yeah, for sure. It looks like they're all set now, but that's a great point, Nick. You want to make sure all the settings are correct, everything, you, you know, you're playing for a lot of money, you're playing for this Vikings Club Championship, you want everything to be okay. Uh, it was indeed a controller. It appears to be solved, and gotta love when those admins get over. Crack admin team here for the club championships as it's a handoff to Hill up the middle, nowhere to go. Yeah, fullback dive again, but Lawrence Taylor is right there to get him in the backfield. No gain. Good defense right there by Phenom. 
What's going to be the difference in this game in your mind? See, whoever gets that stop is what it seems like. Both these guys look prolific in this gun bunch. So getting that, getting that one stop is going to be huge. Flipping the play, Christian McCaffrey in the backfield. Moving the bunch to the left side, Tyree Kill alone on the right side. Yeah, look for a corner out here. Luck dropping back, it's a free rusher. Chip blocked by McCaffrey, Luck's got all sorts of room. Give him a first down at the 32 yard line. What a block by Christian McCaffrey in the backfield. Yeah, great recognition right there by Six Sense. The guy was coming free off the left side, he, roll out, he rolled out right and uh, picked up an easy gain, get, got out of bounds. Even when you're just sitting there playing the game of Madden NFL football, the jitters can come in and Phenom with his best performance so far, looking to capitalize. This is six cents with a run up the middle. A little more success than we've seen him in the past, running that A-gap run, second to five. Yeah, a little halfback diver there, Tyreek had a little seam. The block was picked up, but got a little clustered at the end, and nice five-yard gain, though. Now second to five. Luck in the shotgun. Look at all of the legends at wide receiver. Marvin Harrison, Torrey Holt. Who will Luck find on this play? He's got him. He's got him over the top. That's Torrey Holt. Feet in bounds. Give him 24 and a first down at the three-yard line. Yeah, man, six senses look phenomenal on offense. You know, I haven't seen Phenom do much to stop down this, to slow down this gun bunch. Look for a fullback dive here to punch it in. And then the question is, we go for two this early? I don't think you should. Tyreek Hill at fullback. They're going to flip into the eye formation, put McCaffrey at the top of the eye. Two wide split out to the left. And now right back into the far tight slots. And give it to Tyreek Hill. Listen, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And Tyreek Hill is pretty hard to stop. Yeah, Phenom hasn't had an answer for that fullback dive. Out of tight slots, especially in the red zone. And six cents is two for two with it with Tyreek Hill. And like I said, he goes with that extra point, which is, I think, the safe conservative thing to do at this point in the game. A little too early to go for two. There's so much time left, but it is 13 to 7, six cents on top. Two drives for six cents, two touchdowns. What does Phenom have for his second drive of this game? Yeah, he looked good in his first drive, so see what he can do here. Six cents, you know, trying to get a stop. Like I said, whoever gets the first stop in this game is going to put themselves at a huge advantage going forward. First and ten for Phenom. Motions Aikens to the left side, he'll run the stretch right. That's Dante Hall trying to find some room, fighting through a tackle. Let's give him four. Yeah, better run defense right there by six cents. Clogged it up right there. Fino, I'm gonna go back to that gun bunch now where he's looked great in it. Seems like it, not only are these guys running similar schemes and formations, it's like the same pattern. We're seeing eye formation on first down, if that doesn't pick up a lot, to the gun bunch, inside the goal line, to the far tight slots. Yeah, it's literally a mirror match. They're basically doing the exact same things on offense. Second and six. Into the bunch with Andrew Luck. Dropping back, four-man rush, chip blocked by the halfback, throws back across his body and finds Dante Hall. Should be just short of line to gain. Hurry up to a third and two. Yeah, he's having success with that vertical concept right there. And he had the wheel right away, way, I think, but waits for the drag underneath. Um, and then we got a big third and two now here. If you're six cents, you got to buckle up. These two about as evenly matched as we have seen. Luck waiting. He'll step up. He'll pick up the first down and more. Slides down before taking a hit. Give him 10. And just like that, Phenom's in business. That's exactly the reason you get that escape artist ability. Third and two, nothing there. You can take off with Andrew Luck. When we were looking at the field of this Vikings Club Championship, the Final Four, we said this might be as deep of a Final Four as we have seen. Yeah, really four talented guys. Goes to mesh post here. Woo! He and he caught that he in knows. coverage. He knows. Yeah, that was a scary play right there for Phenom. You can see on his face, you know, he knows it, but he gets it. That mesh post concept, which is very popular, you streak the outside bunch receiver. Luck looking for something down the field. He'll take off. There's a whole lot of room. Was he a little styling and profiling in the middle of that, showing off the grapevine? A little Ric Flair uh, stutter step there to get that first down. A little swag right there for Phenom. Big first There it down. is. It's <laughs> Oh, showmanship. Well, he's stuck on his D tackle. This could be a touchdown. And he's got Tyree Kill. Good coverage, though. Just gets in the area to make that pass fall incomplete. That almost looked like pass interference a little bit there. <laughs> but uh, yeah, the, I thought that could be a touchdown, just not a great pass. 
right there. Not a great pass lead. Now after that Saints playoff game last year, the Vikings are like, hey, refs, we're good. We're good. We're good. Second and ten. Luck outside of the pocket, cuts back inside. While these two guys are running similar schemes, you're seeing Phenom a little more effective with Luck with his legs, whereas Sixth Sense was more effective handing the ball off. Yeah, he's looked great with his Andrew Luck. I mean, he's seen the holes in the defense taking off with him. Good stick work. Nice drive right here. Both these guys just look great on offense. Calm, cool, and collected. First and 10. Luck steps up. Luck finds Hill. Why not? When in doubt, air it out. Phenom ties the game up. Phenom told me last night he wants the respect of his peers. And when you have two drives like that to take the lead, going into this, in this Viking semifinal, going into halftime, man, huge drive right there by Phenom. And just like that, four drives in the first half, four touchdowns, a missed extra point, the difference. Phenom with a one point lead. Plenty of time here, though, for six cents. He pitches it to prime time. Spinning, winning inside the 30 to the 32. As one more time, just a great read off the bat. Yeah, right up the seam, over the middle. We see that a lot this year. Wide open in that first, that cover two. Phenom's excited about it. And now if you're six cents, you got plenty of time. You had three timeouts as you take oh, a big sack. Oh, you have plenty of time unless you do that. Scary. Man, Phenom for being in his first club final. Doesn't seem like the nerves are affecting him at all. Yeah, I think he wants this moment, man. He's been ready for this moment, and he's playing, he's balling out right now. Both these guys look good. Six cents, still have time here. Two timeouts, 24 seconds. Look for maybe a corner route, crossing route. Maybe a mix of both. Hill stays back to block. Luck rolls out of the pocket, over the top. Does he have it? Oh, the three cuts the route and picks it off. And now on the return, past midfield to the 45-yard line. Phenom, he's showing off how good he feels. Yeah, he's feeling it, man. Marlon Humphrey with a huge pick. That's why you get a Marlon Humphrey. So much speed on the field. Clicks on, great user pick. And now Phenom's in business with only 13 seconds to go. Two timeouts remaining, a major turnover could be a turning point. Luck rolls out right, got nobody and takes a sack. Yeah, you can't take that sack right there. You gotta throw that ball away. And he's just gonna let this clock run down. Yeah. Interesting call, no time. He had two timeouts remaining, but we'll go to halftime. Phenom, a one-point lead, but some questionable play at the end of the half. Yeah, real question right there. He had eight seconds. If you call timeout with eight seconds, you have another, you can throw over the middle even, call timeout with about three or four seconds, kick that field goal. Questionable decision right there by Phenom. Well, these guys have been dancing. They've been talking. We have them both wired up here at the club. Come on! Let's go, man. Come on. Let's go. Don't worry about this. Don't worry about this. And don't forget the Minnesota Vikings. Not only will you win the cash prize, but the Vikings have donated a custom designed football to the Vikings Club champion. And that's not all. You at home can get yourself a 86 overall Core Elite Harrison Smith card. All you got to do is sign up at vikings.com slash Madden. You can win yourself a big piece that could shore up that defense. Yeah, for sure. Harrison Smith, one of the best players in the NFL. You can use that card, power up another Harrison uh, Smith card. Definitely helps your defense. Dude, and big shout out to the Minnesota Vikings organization. Always been a major supporter of the club championships and showing it once again this year. Yeah, for sure. I'd be strafing the first ever uh, club champion, I believe, a couple years ago. Vikings always doing it big here at the club championship. So this game, it may be a one point difference, but it is about as tied up as it gets. Two touchdowns apiece. We'll see now, going with the final 10 minutes of semifinal number one, how much that missed extra point will affect this game. Yeah, exactly, Nick. But like we said, both these guys are mirror match, and it's played out that exact way. I mean, it would be tied right now if Sixth Sense didn't get too excited and, and focused on his extra point. And now Phenom's in business, man. He's getting the ball up one. Now we know Phenom getting the ball here to start the second half. Does that make it any better, the fact that he let those eight seconds run off the clock at the end of the first half? Yeah, it makes it better for him. But, like, I mean, he still should have tried to take a shot. But, you know, he, he probably thought, I'm getting ball. I don't want to risk anything. See if it pays off for him. Oh, oh, Dante Hall! Oh, he's in open, open space! To the 30, to the 20! Wave goodbye, Dante Hall! To the house! 
house. Don't it's the stopped. Dante Hall versus Tyreek Hill show. Dante Hall coming up huge for Phenom. And he's feeling it right now, man. Ball is down, kick is up, and it is an eight-point lead for Phenom in his first club final. Yeah, first club final, and he's coming out swagging, coming out balling. Huge run right there. Now he's up eight. Six, all the pressure's on six cents, man. Izzo will turn this past the 30, takes it down to the 32-yard line one more time. Stretch run, it was one cut. See you later. Yeah, once again, doesn't get touched. Dante Don't Hall. Stop. Don't get stopped. 80 yards to the crib. What a run. Too much speed. What sort of answer does Sixth Sense have? One play, one touchdown in the second half. It's the biggest drive of the game right here for Sixth Sense. You gotta get a touchdown. You gotta move down the field here. He comes out immediately in the gun bunch. Check, 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 check. Go ahead. Twist, left, twist, left, twist. One wide receiver split to the right side, Hill in motion. From left to right. Luck dropping back, rolling out. He's gonna oh take a God. shot, it's one on one. Oh, oh good God. swat oh, by Paul man. Amalu. He doesn't a want to win the choice game. That He one doesn't want to win. Yeah, risky play right there for six cents. Risk, risky, risky play right there. And Phenom was all over it with the click on, but just couldn't come down with it. And six cents might be feeling the pressure right now. That's not a read you can make in this situation. Phenom with all the momentum yelling, he doesn't want to win. You know, six cents is locked in though. He does want to win. Lock outside of the pocket, looking to the corner. That's Marvin Harrison. Fancy feet, toe tap on the sidelines. Yeah, huge catch right there for six cents. Keeps his feet down with that Marvin Harrison on that slot apprentice corner route. Huge gain. Nice drive right now by six cents. Two varying levels of experience. This is the best phenom has ever played in the clubs. Six cents, three straight Final Fours with three different teams, but he has yet to win one of those clubs. Yeah, he told me last night the club series is the thing he hasn't had any success in, and it's eating him alive. He wants it so bad. And this is the biggest drive right here. He's going to come out in this far tight slots fullback dive again. He's had some success out of this. He'll hand it to Hill. Quick snap. Didn't let too many adjustments happen for Phenom, and he was able to pick up eight. Yeah, nice little game right there, and a huge tackle with that Troy Palomalu by uh, Phenom, because that saved him. Looked like he had a crease there. Second and two. Troy P is a pretty good guy to have as the last line of defense. Oh, yeah. He's one of the best safeties of all time, and probably the best safety in Madden 20. Him or Tillman. Yep. Second and two. McCaffrey in at halfback on the left of Luck. Rolling right, waiting, just gets around. Oh, he took a hit from Wilson. I thought he might have had the corner, but Wilson, a nice chase down tackle, only getting one. Yeah, great stick work right there by Phenom. Able to get that shoestring tackle from behind, put him in a difficult third and one situation. I expect to see another fullback dive here. Three and a half minutes to go in this third quarter. Voice you're hearing is that of former Arizona club champion Tyler Davis, Nick Mazesco along with you. Semi-final number one of the final club championship. McCaffrey gives it to McCaffrey. I don't think he got the first down. It's gonna be fourth and short. Decision time here for six cents. Your tournament life on the line. He's on aggressive. We need to we need to know this. I don't think he took it off aggressive. So he cannot take a big hit here. Especially if he runs with luck or something, you gotta be careful, but big fourth and one here for six cents. He doesn't come out in power, he comes out to air it out. Gun bunch for six cents, needs about eight inches. Luck, pressure, just gets rid of it. Hill on the corner out, great read from six cents to pick up a first down. Huge play by six cents, he goes to that stick play out of the bunch with that quick corner out to Tyreek Hill on the sidelines, threads the needle, gets it in there, great play. Phenom brought the pressure and six cents was up for it. Now first and ten inside the red zone. Looks like he's gonna go to that verticals concept. Torrey Halt in the motion. Look for the crossing route with Marvin Harrison. Pressure down goes Luck. Screamer off the side as Shaw with his second second of the game. Yeah, nice blitz right there by uh, Phenom. Great defense. And six cents in a big second and twenty now. You gotta get, I would, I would try to just get some positive yards here. Put yourself in a manageable third down situation because this is not field goal territory right now. Unless you're in a, unless you're in a fourth and long, I think you have to go for this. Make this a third and manageable. That's gotta be the goal. Gun bunch. Lock dropping back. Waiting, stepping up. Fumble, balls on, on the ground, it's sitting there, and it's picked up by Phenom, a major turnover inside the red zone. Nick, 
I don't think he ever went yeah, off aggressive. On that big on. third and one, when he put it on aggressive, I don't think he ever came off aggressive. And either way, though, those, fun, those quarterbacks fumble all the time. Huge turnover going forward for Phenom's momentum. After a key fourth down, Phenom with a turnover. And now he's in control. Stretch run, Hall trying to get outside. Palomalo says, no way, Jose. Yeah, great tackle right there by Six Sense because that was a one-on-one -on -one situation. And wow, what a huge turnover. Massive change in events here in semifinal number one. Man, for, <laughs> Phenom has not looked like somebody who has shied away from the bright lights. Yeah, that's what he said. He didn't want the, the bright lights to get to him, and it hasn't so far. Game far from over, though. Yeah, still got a quarter to go. Luck stepping up, trying to find some room. He'll slide down. He just saw Luck fumble. He went, I, I don't need to test anybody. Yeah, the thing I've noticed about Phenom is his pocket presence has been phenomenal. He steps up in the pocket when he needs to. He identifies when, when the blitz is coming off the edge. Big third and seven for six cents. You got to get off the field. Can't spell phenomenal without Phenom. Third and seven. Into the gun, tight slots. Luck, pressure up the middle. What a pickup of the blitz. He's got all the time in the world. Back foot throw, and Bailey got there. A turnover the other way for six cents. He didn't set his feet, threw it off his back foot. A little overthrown. Great click on by six cents to catch that on the sidelines. Another big turnover. His name is Champ. And he got six cents the turnover he needed. And six cents using, only using 89 overall corners. He told me his defense is not that great. He stacked up his offense, but his defense comes up huge for him in one of the biggest moments of the day. Back to business on offense for six cents. Back and forth we go. Luck. Rolling right. Waiting. Good coverage downfield. That playmaker just didn't take off quick enough. He had the drag wide open the whole play. I don't know what he, he's trying to go deep too much here. He had the drag for an easy first down. I don't know why he waited and throw it. TD, are those the plays you go back home, you hear about it from your friends, you watch it, and you just go, what was I doing? Yeah, they're going to be like, bro, what were you doing? You had the drag wide open. Three yards could turn into 20. Second and two, stretch run. That don't work on me, bro. Oh, he says me, it don't work on him. He picked up two yards and a first down. Yeah, not a great yardage game, but gets, the, gets enough of the first down. That'll do it for the third quarter. Four's up in the chat. Five minutes to go here in semifinal number one. It is anyone's ball game. Phenom with the lead, six cents with the ball. Don't forget, you can watch all 32 of the club championship finals on demand on the Madden Competitive Gaming YouTube channel. You're going to want to check them out because we have had some great finals. Here are the club championships. 10 days until the final 32, one spot remains. Luck, rolling right, he's got X over the middle. He finds him, that's Tori Holt trying to get around Palomalu, red zone, nearing for a six cents down to the 24 yard line. Yeah, great play right there. Rolls out with Luck, hits that backside dig route. Great play right there. Phenom making a lot of adjustments on defense, but left that dig wide open. Eight point lead, the missed extra point now looming large over six cents. He's got an audible down. Formation we haven't seen yet from him. Look for a power run here, ace power. It's a handoff to McCaffrey. Not a lot of room. People see the name Christian McCaffrey, they think that's a high powered card, but he didn't really spend a lot in the running back position because he wanted to really power up those wide receivers. Yeah, he wanted all these weapons out there, and he, he gets Tyree Kill in the backfield here now. Look for a sweep. Yeah, there is the sweep. Nostra Davis over here called it. <laughs> Near the first down marker, they'll give it to him. Yeah, nice play right there. We've seen that sweep a lot with Tyree Kill. It's been effective all tournament long, honestly. And now we're getting into this tough territory, man. You need to score a touchdown here, and this is where it gets difficult. Remember on the last drive, he took a sack and then he fumbled on the next play, looking to avoid a turnover. McCaffrey in motion off the bunch. Luck dropping back. Yeah. Oh, I thought he was going to try to throw the seam. Instead, Shaw gets in the backfield for his third sack. Yeah, real interesting route combo there. He had two, uh, two seams, a crosser and a backside drag, and uh, motioned over McCaffrey on that streak but nothing there. You feeling deja vu, sack on first down inside the red zone. <laughs> yeah, we got this is gonna be a battle down to the wire, man. This is a good game. 
And that clock tick, tick, ticking away under 240 to go. Luck throwing out right side. Playmaker to X up. I thought he had him. He kind of did, Nick. I, th I saw your face. I thought he might have thrown it. I, it's a tough one. It could have been a little risky, but he could have had it. I know I made a good call when I look over and you look at me at the yeah. same time. I'm like, oh my, he was yeah. right. <laughs> we made the exact same face, but big third and 13 here. Look for a halfback wheel with a motion post. Luck dropping back, looking to the wheel. That's Holt just catches it, and we're going to have a fourth and one that could be for the ball game. Yes, while well, he moves with that motion wheel. Now we here we go. He's probably going to take it down to the two-minute warning and think about it. Biggest play of the game, six cents to go to the finals, down eight. <sighs> TD, what are you doing here? I'm fullback put, dive? I'm putting an aggressive fullback dive, and I think he's still on aggressive. I don't know if he's ever, if he's taking He's it. dropping back to pass. Oh, he throws a pick. The it's Paul Mata waiting. And Troy P has all sorts of green in front of him. He's to the 40. Just wave goodbye. Fina may have sealed himself a spot in the Vikings final. A 98-yard return. And six cents nah. can't believe it. Oh yeah, my goodness, my what a play by Phenom with Troy Polamalu. One of the sickest user picks you'll see. Takes it to the house to possibly clinch himself a spot in the finals, man, unreal. Troy Polamalu putting points on the board. I, re I really think Six Sense rushed that too. I, I know he wants to score quickly, but he, you know, he could have took it down to the two minute one and thought about it. It looks like he came to the line. Yeah, look at this one more time. It's yeah. a quick snap, quick throw, and what a lurk from Phenom. Yeah, uh, incredible lurk. Great user pick. Six Cents had that backside flat road, it looked like. Wow, what a game changer. The second turnover of the game for Six Cents. Now, see, one could arrest me. Three straight club finals for three different teams. But no wins. Luck. First down to the 37-yard line. Yeah, good play right there. I thought he might have had him for a second on the deep post, but then it wasn't there. Good good decision to roll out, get the first down. How about Phenom's defense today, by the way? He's had a phenomenal user downfield. Yeah, his user looks great, man. Phenomenal user sticks, stick skills. And now, now the situation where you can make him work. You want to get him to complete passes inbounds, nothing out of bounds, and nothing, nothing easy. Holt split out wide left, out of the bunch. Four-man rush picked up nicely. Good user coverage, waiting to make him make a decision. And if you're Phenom, you're real happy with him scrambling each and every time. Yeah, that was great stick work again by Phenom. I mean, he kind of baited him a little bit, wait, wanted him to throw it, and then came in at the right time. You know, I know he picked up nine yards, but that's what you had to do in that situation. Great defense right there. Coming up next, semifinal number two, Blair and the defending champ, I.B. Strafen. Josh and R.G. on the call. You're not going to want to miss that one. We're near the end of semifinal number one. It's not over yet. Six cents, all three timeouts and with the ball but he needs to score quickly yeah real quickly like he needs to score before the before one minute like, like right now yeah like like score right now waiting oh my god right side hold you're at phenom go oh my god because he he knew right where he was throwing he just couldn't get back there in time yeah that was a great play right there huge pickup you're putting yourself in business now got out of bounds you got to score within these next two three plays now red zone has been his mortal enemy Two red zone drives, no points. Luck rolling out. Woo, that ball came out. He took a hit on the sidelines, but he'll pick up nine. Yeah, it looks like Luck was running out of gas there as he, as he was getting to out of bounds. Luckily, he did get out of bounds, though. Stop that clock, and he still has plenty of time now. Got to get in before one minute, though. Don't worry, Andrew. I know the feeling. My stamina bar is always on red. Never want me carrying the ball. <laughs> 127 to go. Yeah, you can see that Andrew Luck was tired. He was yellow right there, but got him back to blue, and here I we go. I was tired watching him. <laughs> He's been doing work. Inside the red zone one more time. Flipping the play, putting the bunch on the right side. Yeah, he's trying to hit that corner out back of the end zone. Luck waiting. He's got the corner out. Oh! Tyler Romo calls it again. It's a touchdown for six cents. He stays alive. Yeah, great drive right there. Puts himself in a chance to win now. I mean, phenomenal drive. He had to score within one minute. Like I said, he did just that. And now you got to kick deep here. You cannot do the onside kick in this situation. Three timeouts remaining. Do you like the call not going for two there? 
Yeah, I do. You gotta, you gotta keep yourself in the game. You can't go for two and knock it. If you don't get it there, the game's over. Could we see a comeback? And, and, and a monumental comeback? Because I know there are many people at home who saw that pick six and went, this game is over. As this was the touchdown pass on the corner out. Is it possible that six cents has a decent chance to come back in this game. Yeah, he does. I mean, now, in a sense, all the pressure is put on to Phenom. You know, this is Phenom's first event here in the club series. All the pressure's on him. He needs one first down. Will he do it? High formation. Phenom looking to clock this one. It's Hall up the middle. Oh, big hit from Paul Amalu. Are you on conservative if you're Phenom? Uh, yeah, you might want to be after that play. I mean, you don't want Dante Hall taking big hits from Troy P like that. That was scary. On the plus side, he picked up three, keeping him ahead of the clock. Yeah, if you're six cents here, you really got to buckle down. This is huge. Aiken's in motion. This is where we've seen a stretch at times. It's going to be the dive up the middle. Oh, the user backed off, and Phenom said, I know exactly what you're doing. He falls down and may have sealed himself a spot. And for his first event in the club series, to fall down like that was a veteran move, man. Phenomenal performance by Phenom. He looked terrific on both sides of the ball. Great job. He puts the Phenom in phenomenal into the Vikings final with a 28-20 win over six sets. An impressive performance. He told me last night, I want respect from my peers, Ty. I want to be one of the best in the world. And after that performance, he looked terrific. Let's see how this one went down in the Vikings semifinal number one. Phenom in six cents. It was fireworks early from Dante Hall. Yeah, it was the Dante Hall and Tyreek Hill show early, back to back. Both guys getting untouched, big runs to the end zone. This one extended the lead out to eight to start the second half. Luck yeah, looking this, over this the top. This was the biggest play of the game to me right here. This Marlon Humphrey pick was huge for Phenom, and he got the ball at half. That pick stopping a potential scoring drive. And on fourth and one, this one might have been the sealer. Troy P with the pick. Yeah, that was the game sealer right there for Phenom. Just a terrific user pick, man. Great stick skills all day long. Six cents made a fight out of it, but in the end, it was too much from Phenom. He takes semifinal number one, 28 to 20. He will take the winner of Ivy Straven and Blair. Let's hear from the winner of this first semifinals over there with Evan. All right, we got Phenom over here playing very well. M might be like a young Phenom. We'll have to wait and see. This is your first event and obviously a good start to it. How do you feel? I feel great, man. I was like, it's kind of nervous at first, but once I, the game started and you know, it's just like everything just went away and I just played my best. That's all that matters. They were mentioning that, you know, there was a little bit of nerves coming in. The fact that you know what you're doing, but will the lights get to you? How do you think you're able to perform so well, uh, even in a situation that's a little bit unusual? Uh, I mean, I play a lot of offline money games, like going around and room full of people screaming at you, yelling at you. And it's like, that's like, that's pressure. This right here, you just sit in front of your monitor. Nobody's talking to you. It's real easy out here. You're chilling. Yeah. So, so why do you think you're playing so well right now? just prepared. I really just put a lot of time in this year compared to like all the other years. I couldn't really put the time in because of school and all this other stuff. Mm. But this year I was like, I'm going to just go hard and see where it takes me in. On my first game. Well, an amazing moment here and obviously the key play I think of this game. It was a little interesting until this moment right here.